Hello and welcome to the Ocean Club at Grand Dunes, but hidden in the back here is the Marriott Myrtle Beach Resort and Spa at Grand Dunes. It's a mouthful. This is just one of the towers in this little resort pocket at the very north end of Myrtle Beach. The Ocean Watch Vacation Club is also here, so they've got some timeshare towers. I believe there's four or five of them in total. Lots of rooms, lots of amenities, lots of quiet oceanfront. And I'm gonna walk you through everything that has to do with this specific portion, the Myrtle Beach Resort and Spa at Grand Dunes portion. In the lobby, there's a awesome sandcastle. It's real, so don't touch it, don't fool around with it. Full on, probably six foot tall, and it's by this guy. The lobby is very warm and welcoming. It's airy without being uh, tall, because a lot of lobbies like to put height in there to make it feel open, but this one was good. It was nice, wide, and well lit. The parking garage is around the corner. You just have to take a few left hand turns, and you will arrive here. The parking garage is right next to the convention center hallway portion of the hotel. So after you park, you'll have to walk through that convention center. I find it mildly amusing that every one of these parking spots has a dent in the wall where people's bumpers have overhung the wheel stops and damaged the wall. I just find that kind of amusing. You exit your vehicle and you head to this corridor here. These are all convention spaces slash office spaces. This portion of the hotel is very clean. The color palette's very muted. It's not overdone. It still has some character to it. I really appreciate, uh, again, the cleanliness and the aesthetic that they've applied to this hotel. Even in the hallways, you go down the corridors and there's molding on all the doors, can lights over each door. It's just done very well. Hello and welcome to the Marriott Myrtle Beach at Grand Dunes. We're gonna be staying at this, uh, this hotel today. Considered one of the highest rated in Myrtle Beach. Let's uh, see for ourselves. This is the view we start with, which is the better half of the view. Don't look this way, because that's just, you know, a roof. But this is a partial ocean view. Not ocean front, but for me, this is good enough. So let's look at this room and uh, give you guys a tour. All right, let's start our tour over there. Okay, let's begin our tour, starting at the entrance, where you have a nice set of sliding uh, smoked doors here, which are just kind of hanging here, so be careful about that. But they slide open to expose your usual, just closet with hangers. Got some robes, you know, nothing too impressive, but it does the job. Nice lighting, nice contemporary lighting in here. Very open, very airy, very clean. Uh, you've got a trash and recycling can right here. You've got a nice big bed with some oversized lights. Look at these lights. That's, that's some substantial lighting on those side tables, which have their own outlets. And the tables have their own outlets. So plenty of plugs. The bed appears to be super soft. This is what I think about the bed after a night's sleep. And if you've been following a lot of these hotel videos that we've been making lately, you'll notice I always make the comment about storage under the bed. Boom, oh, this one, I thought there was storage from this angle. It looked like it would be open, but nope, no dice. Carpet seems very clean. Very large headboard. Look at this full-size mirror right here in the front. Appreciate that. Large TV, lots of drawers. 
got a safe, definitely big enough for a laptop, nice cold fridge. I already put some waters in there for today. Plenty of drawers, secondary trash can. Got our coffee with some, what brand coffee is this? Pure Elevation, okay. Some tea, the usuals. This hotel does have pickup or delivery straight to your room, a little bit of room service. There is a full bar and restaurant downstairs. So I assume this comes out of that kitchen. Again, a very nice chair and table. The furniture in here seems modern, seems updated. Another oversized mirror, but there's something that's screaming at me. All the stuff in this room feels uh, newer. Uh, like I said, modern. And then there's this phone over here that I've seen very similar phones in abandoned buildings, They're oxidized and yellow, but you know, it's a phone. And if it works, it works, it does the job. Oop, what we got down here? Our ice bucket and cups sitting down there. Coming back over here to the bed, to the side, we have a nice table and chair. I believe this chair does open up. No, it does not. I thought it was an extra bed. It's just a chair. It's okay, chair, we won't hold that against you. Got some very interesting art here. Looks like a, a shell, kind of deconstructed. I'm digging it. And of course, that view we saw at the very beginning is here. It's not a balcony, it's just a door. Looks down into the patio space. I believe the restaurant is down there. The bar would be over here under us. Several pools and hot tubs. And of course the ocean. Now where we're located, as I look this way, I'm looking south into the city of Myrtle. The edge of the city limits is just behind me at Singleton Swash. So we're kind of at, almost at the furthest northern limit of the city of Myrtle. If we look this way, as I mentioned earlier, not the greatest view this way, but that is kind of the Grand Dunes area. There's the 82nd Avenue Publix in the distance. Moving into the bathroom, we have a very spacious bathroom here. Plenty of towels, a very large mirror, and if you're interested, you even get a robe. Look at that. Marriott robe. And I will say this looks pretty darn clean, if I were to say so, and I am. Behind this door is the shower. Let's see what kind of shower we got going on here. Very big, very nice. Single shower head. And it's one of those newer situations where that water flows to the front of the shower goes into kind of like a trench drain. Got one lonely hook over there. Nothing too fancy here. The only toiletry you get is this bar of soap and a little bit of lotion. When you arrive, you will receive this welcome package. It has information about their internet service, their different restaurant options, housekeeping, yada yada. And if we flip this over, you're gonna get a list of the daily amenities at the resort, what's complimentary, uh, things like floating mats and boogie boards, their spa and valet parking, complimentary bicycles, and all sorts of other good stuff. And over here is just a basic map. Anything on the back? Oh, map 2.0, lower level and main level. Now 
now that we've done a lap around this room, let's head downstairs and we'll show you some of the amenities that uh, Marriott's offering here at this specific resort. Even the elevators got some nice tile work on it. This hotel slash resort has a lot of really nice amenities and features. I'm gonna say this gift shop slash, I guess they consider this their coffee, cafe, breakfast serving area. It's kind of lacking, not gonna lie. Uh, nothing too exciting in this space. The food that's available are your prepackaged muffins and the Starbucks coffee that's basically the same thing you could brew at home. So uh, kind of a thumbs down to this little shop, but in the grand scheme of things, not a big deal. The rest of this hotel and resort are fantastic. Speaking of the rest of the resort, let's go check it out. To our left, they have a nice restaurant slash bar. And we are currently considered on the second floor, by the way, just FYI. There's a large patio lanai here. There's a restaurant across on the other side of this. It's currently closed and it's the off season. That's also why it's completely empty. You know, in the cold weather off season, not a lot of people are gonna be swimming in this pool or swimming in that ocean. Just the way it is. And that's kind of how I like it as a local. I get to experience these resorts and I pretty much get it all to myself. As you see throughout this video, there's nobody here and we kind of have the run of the place. In that room that we just saw our walkthrough of, it's right up there. Let's see if we can get a better look. That room right over yonder. And that's us down there. Can you see us? Anyway, let's take a walk down the steps and around these pools, multiple pools, two large pools, a lot of waterfalls, landscape features, hot tubs, all sorts of good stuff. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is the Marriott Myrtle Beach Resort and Spa at Grand Dunes, not to be confused with the million other Marriott brands that you can run into around here. I mean, just off the top of my head, you got the Spring Hill, you got the Four Points, you got the Courtyard, uh, Town Place, Fairfield, Residence Inn, uh, Renaissance, I'm sure there's a dozen more. Uh, so Marriott is not lacking in uh, products or different variations in the hotel experience. I think this one, which isn't under the umbrella of any of those other names, is really trying to be as close as it can be to an all-inclusive with the limited space it has in this small quadrant of the entire Marriott property. A few moments ago, we passed by the poolside bar and quick service, which is closed at the moment. Again, this time of year, it's cold. No one's going to be using the pool. This is an afternoon on a weekend, and you can see nobody's out here. But they do have some pretty sweet loungers. I'd like to have one of these uh, back at home reserved for me. Over here, they also have a pretty sweet hot tub. We will be revisiting this later tonight. That's warm. That is that is nice and warm. Ah! You just got they have a pretty nice slide off to the side of the pool area, and I appreciate that the top of the slide is surrounded by vegetation, trees, whatnot. Uh, it gives it a nice feel that you go up into the middle of the canopy and you come out at the bottom. Much better than a lot of these other resort slides you see that are just up in the middle of nowhere. Kind of cool. Off to the side, there is a basketball, well, quarter court that you can uh, shoot on. Thanks, can open up, Rick. Thanks, <laughs> Of course, you've got your ever-present cornhole with their own logo and design on it. 
And not only do they have two exterior pools, they also have an indoor heated pool and jacuzzi, which smells fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but the smell of chlorine in an indoor pool, something about it. I just, I dig it. I'm crazy, I guess. Even in the colder months, when you have no crowd outside, you could still have this pool to yourself. And yes, very warm. Lots of water, a lot of bodies of water to choose from. We got two exterior pools, you got a hot tub, you got a slide, you got an indoor pool, indoor jacuzzi. But there's also the ocean, so we're gonna make our way over there in a moment. But first, let's check out these hammocks that are in a zone reserved for adults only. Well, 16 or older, according to this sign anyway. They are not Polly's Island hammocks though, so Negative one point to you, Marriott, for not hooking up with the local guys right down the street and putting arguably the best hammocks on the East Coast in your resort. Very sweeping view we have there. Uh, directly next to the hammock field is your beach access. It was very quiet this day. The water was you know, almost like glass at times. Virtually nobody on the beach, except for a couple people walking their dog. Very quiet. If you're not the type of person that needs to swim in the ocean, then why not come this time of year, bundle up and just you know chill on the beach and enjoy the view. You're not gonna be warm, but you will have this amazing scenery all to yourself. You can rinse yourself off with the shower head. You can rinse your feet off with these two, and then you rinse your shoes off in the little bucket. Or sand toys. Or sand toys. Very cool. This is the exterior seating portion of the poolside Ocean Blue Cafe. Again, closed due to the off season. This is just a peek into the bar slash restaurant. Not an uh, amazing selection at this bar. It's mostly uh, pre-selected cocktails, but it's still nice. So there you have it. My review thus far of this hotel is very positive. I'm impressed. I'm going to say it's probably on my top three that I've personally stayed at in Myrtle. Quite possibly my number one. Ooh, a little noisy out there right now. All right, everybody, until next time, take it easy.